let's say you want to build a project will you choose arduino or raspberry pi what are the differences both are small both have ports and pins with which we can connect to other devices and modules and both can be programmed but which is the right one for your project in this video we'll be breaking down arduino and raspberry pi and we'll be explaining the difference between both of them and by the end of this video you should be able to understand the differences and decide which is the best one for your project if you are really into electronics and robotics and if you are watching our videos for the first time make sure you check out our channel you will find it really interesting and make sure you subscribe to see more videos like this first of all let me ask you one thing why do we need arduino or raspberry pi in our projects why can't we use simple components like resistors led transistors diodes etc the thing is to some extent we can use these kind of simple components in our circuit and we can make really good projects but again to some extent these simple components cannot make complex decisions in a simple circuit but if you are making something like a smart home automation system or a robot it's always better to use a microcontroller or a microprocessor in order to make complex decisions these brains can take input from different input modules like sensors and do complicated calculations take a decision and can do some kind of output work by communicating with an output device so now you know why we need a microcontroller or a microprocessor in a smart project now let's break down arduino in simple terms arduino is a microcontroller platform perfect for beginners it's like a tiny computer that can run one task at a time for example you can program it to turn on a light when it gets dark or move a motor when you press a button we can program the arduino board but it doesn't have an operating system the code that you upload will be directly running on the chip Arduino has GPIO pins or general purpose input output pins where we can connect input modules like sensors like ultrasonic sensors infrared sensors and output modules like L2 and L3D motor driver ICs LEDs etc Arduino boards like Uno Nano Mega are widely used in robotics DIY electronics and even in industrial application If your project is all about controlling a hardware in real time Arduino is usually the way to go. Now let's talk about Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is a full-fledged computer in the size of a credit card. This Raspberry Pi can run operating systems like Linux, Windows and can run multiple complicated tasks at the same time. It's basically like a normal computer. You can connect to internet via Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable. You can watch videos, play music, play games, run Python scripts. and basically do anything that you can do with a normal pc raspberry pi also has gpio pins or general purpose input output pins where we can connect the sensors and output modules but in addition to that raspberry pi also has ports like usb port where we can connect a flash drive or other external devices and hdmi port where we can connect display and other ports like we have in a computer raspberry pi boards like raspberry pi 4 or 5 or also we have raspberry pi zero boards they are perfect if your project needs multitasking data storage internet connectivity or even camera integration if you want your robot to stream video live or run ai based face recognition raspberry pi would be a better choice than arduino by the way if you are wondering what's the difference between a microcontroller and a microprocessor we have a dedicated video for that where we explain the difference between both of them you will find it in the description down below whether you are using arduino or raspberry pi you will definitely need a custom circuit where you will bring everything together especially when you are working on a final product design or building a prototype speaking about circuits let me quickly introduce you to something that will be really really useful for your projects altium pcb design who is the sponsor of this video if you watch our videos you know we use a tool called atium for most of our robotics projects to draw our circuits and design our own pcbs it's easy to create our own pcbs using atium and if you're a diy electronics enthusiast you're going to love it an atium subscription includes something called atium 365 which lets you design share and manufacture your project everything in one place you can even collaborate on your circuit with friends and share real time feedback so if you want to check it out the link is in the description so you can download and try it for yourself in terms of ease arduino has a very lower learning curve when compared to raspberry pi the arduino ide is very easy to use and you can start blinking leds in 5 minutes raspberry pi on the other hand is very powerful but 
you need to have a basic understanding of Linux and scripting in order to fully utilize its potential. So which one should you choose? It basically depends on the project and your idea. For beginner-friendly hardware projects, real-time control and sensor-based automation, you should go with Arduino. But at the same time, for multimedia, multitasking, complex logic, and internet-connected projects, it's better to pick Raspberry Pi. All right, now let's make everything simpler with some quick comparisons. If you want to control motors and sensors or build real-time applications like a temperature controller or smart lights, or if you need low power and faster response to input, Arduino will be your best friend. But if you want to stream videos to the internet, run Python, Node.js or complicated programs, use AI models or store large data, or run projects like image recognition, Raspberry Pi should be the way to go. If you have any doubts, make sure you ask it in the comments down below. And if you really like this video, make sure you give this video a like. I would really appreciate it. And if you want more useful videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.